Now, the residents of Walford are in for quite the shock this week as Cindy Beale comes back from the dead after 25 years. But tonight, it's her son Peter Beale who returns to Albert Square after discovering a new family secret. Wow. And you're watching that for the first yeah, time, literally. Thomas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because do you, why, why haven't you seen tonight's episode? Do you just sort of keep yourself away from it? No, I don't think we get to see it. I think they want to keep it quite quiet and under wraps. And yeah. It'd be a nice surprise when I watch it for the first time. How does it make you feel? Because, of course, you did play Peter Beale, didn't you, for yeah. quite a while. When was that? Well, I left when I was just as I was turning 18, so I guess about 13, 12, 13 years ago. God, that's incredible. And did you... Did you always keep him with the writers and you wanted to come back? Or how did it, how did it come about? Because there's been lots of different actors who've played Peter Beale. Yeah, they have, they have, and they've done it amazingly well. They've taken it on different little journeys and I've now got to slot back in and try and find out what the other Peters have done, um, what Dale and Ben have done. Um, but it's been OK. I'm watching that for the first time and I'm looking forward to it. I remember filming it. It was meant to be France, but it was in Radlett. <laughs> but it's been an absolute treat, obviously, working with Adam and Michelle again. Like, well, this is it. I mean, they are absolute soap legends, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what was that like? Because you worked, well, as you say, you, you know, you sort of, you had your French scenes, didn't mm -hmm. you? What is it like working alongside them? Because they are just consummate professionals. They know exactly what they're doing. Yeah. And so do you, of course, because you're a consummate professional too. Very kind of you. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, it's been really cool. It's been really cool. Adam's like a, like a father figure. He, oh. he takes a mick out of me or he gives me confidence. He's lovely. Um, Michelle has been an absolute treat because I, I didn't work with M Michelle before. I didn't really get to know her either. So I met her for the first time. Um, sorry, I'm seeing these lovely photos. These are great. Uh, I yeah. met her for the first time when we started filming and yeah, she was just excellent. She raised my game. She brought like a strong intensity to her role and she's obviously got an amazing history as the role. So yeah. An enormous fan base. I mean, yeah, you know, amazing if you, fan Even base. if you haven't seen EastEnders for a few years, you know, the, you mentioned Cindy Beale and your heart goes, oh, what? Yeah, of you course, know? of course. Yeah. Yeah, she's been, she's been really cool. You're, I think you'll all love her. Everyone back at home will absolutely love yeah, her. It'll be she's, wild, She's very it? strong in it, yeah. And behind the scenes, you have a connection to the show as well, don't you? Is that part of what made you want to come back? Yeah, actually, yeah, because I missed out on all the Christmas parties every year. All my family were there. No, <laughs> but they're raucous. Always, always. Tell yeah. us a bit about who works behind the scenes. Yeah, in so your my family. mum and my sister, um, and I've got a cousin as well. Um, my cousin was doing ADing on set, and she was she was phenomenal. She did really well in her own right. And then my mum and my sister, they chaperoned me because I was there oh, I see. when I was younger. Until the age of sixteen, I had to have a chaperone. And my mum and my sister, they just they wanted to do it. Um, I felt comfortable with them and. Because they were so good at their job after I left, they, they, they had no reason to get rid of them, so they, they kept them on. And, oh, and so it's done, sort of going back great. to the family in lots of ways, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, going yeah. back to yeah, yeah. more on screen and off screen. Yeah, it's great. Honestly, I couldn't, I couldn't be happier. It's great. And uh, I hear that you're a very good musician. Okay. You've got yeah. quite a lot of followers, haven't you? Yeah, I've got quite a lot of followers. 100,000 yeah. or something, more than that, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm in a onesie there. Let's take a little listen. Is this. this and, and everyone's such a talented bunch on EastEnders, aren't they? Um, do you have, like, jam sessions with them? Like, yeah, how do you yeah, chill? Yeah, yeah. Tell me a bit about what it's like. Well, since I've been back there, truly, it's there's a guitar around the sofas. I don't... Molly, like, me, Molly, and... Uh, Jamie Bullfrey. Tyler's up. Yes, well, this is you your, yeah, this all is of your us, sort yes, of um, long lost sister, isn't she, in the show? Yeah, You're yeah, coming yeah, yeah. to discover this. Yeah, yeah. It's been, it's been quite surreal. So <clears throat> you'll obviously see in the clip tonight that Peter comes into the kitchen after taking a phone call uh, on Cindy's phone and he finds out that he has a sister. And I, I mean, after all of the, the stress that Peter and Cindy and, well, Peter and Ian have been through after losing so many family members, the chance for me to have two new sisters is just a. I don't know, it's an opportunity I don't want to give up on. So, yeah, my... Peter's hope is to go back and build bridges and try and make yeah. a relationship with them, but... I don't know. He has to tread carefully. Can I ask you? Yeah. I mean, obviously, you have... Uh, you know stardom because you've had it before, but it's going to be different this time, isn't it, I think? It's think? weird, isn't it, stardom? It's, it's just a strange... Yeah, it's a I want to know what you think stuff. of it, because you seem like quite a sort of... You're obviously like a very humble person. You're quite low-key as a, as a big star, and I wonder whether fame is something you carry easily or whether it's something you're careful about. No, I'm quite... This is, this is kind of, like, nerve-wracking being here, only purely because it... I, I like talking to people all the time, um, but I, I play a lot of golf, and that, I think, has kept my head quite level. Um, I'm really close to my family, but, yeah, we never really enjoyed 
or hun hunted to be famous or anything like that. Because I've, I've grown up with like a musician, Paolo Nutini, and I've always seen him in, a, in amazing settings and he's so humble, but the right people really respect him. I've seen people absolutely gush over how talented he is. And, and yeah, it's, I, I can't really explain it. You yeah. want to be known for being successful. You like doing what you do. Yeah, And yeah, the yeah. fame is a sort of side, sort of yeah, danger. Yeah, this, this is going to be strange. But what's interesting, strange. of course, as you've mentioned, you, you spotted Tyler over yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. So you two are sort of related now, Hey, aren't listen, you? the family cookout's going to yeah, be yeah. amazing. Yeah. I can't Fact wait, and wait fiction. Bring your guitar I'll bring my guitar. Yeah, yeah, and we're there, man. We're that's like, we're it. A little jamming <laughs> session yeah. with Molly. As long as you get a little dance out of you, that's class. You and Molly, yeah, be great. be great. It's lovely to meet you. Congratulations on reprising a fantastic role. EastEnders continues tonight at 7.30 tonight on Hope you BBC enjoy. One. It's going to be amazing. Enjoy. Lovely to meet you. That's no, a pleasure. Thank you.